Hepatitis E. Pigs. Biosecurity. Health. Prevention. Transmission. Drinking quality. Hepatitis E. The hepatitis E virus can be found in various animal species such as boars, deers, chickens, dogs, and pigs. It's been determined that epidemics of this disease occur in countries that have poor sanitary conditions, although sporadic cases can happen in industrialized countries also. With the hepatitis E virus, different investigations have been carried out in different countries around the world. Both humans and animals have been evaluated, among them pigs. We know that this virus is a zoonotic disease, meaning it could be transferred to humans from animals. In Colombia, the information we have regarding the hepatitis E virus is lacking, reason for our growing interest in investigating this disease. Why is this being done in Antioquia? According to the DANI and the Colombian Association of Pig Farmers, Antioquia is the number one producer of pork meat in Colombia. We're talking about 45.5% of the total number of pigs slaughtered. The region is also the number one consumer of pork meat in the country, with 17.2 kilograms consumed per person per year. In the majority of investigations regarding the hepatitis E virus, what is being sought is the viral genome. In the case of pigs, the genome has been identified. Yet, even though the virus is in these animals, it doesn't affect productive parameters, weight gain, food conversion, nor reproductive parameters. It's very important to take into consideration the colostrum for newborn piglets. This due to the fact that mother's milk strengthens their defenses, helping them fight off organisms, in this case, the hepatitis E virus. These defenses will last for eight months. As of that moment, the pigs can become susceptible to being infected with the virus, generating an excretion of feces during two to three weeks, possibly extending up to the 24th week, which is the average age in which the pigs are taken to be sacrificed in Colombia. This situation is conducive to the detection of the virus in these animals. If you have an animal infected with hepatitis E, it's been proven, based on research, that the only organ affected is the liver. The rest of the animal's tissue or organs present no presence of the virus. What happens then to the liver? It's necessary to consider that if the meat is cooked properly, the virus will be deactivated and will therefore cause no harm to the people who eat it. The most important thing in order to avoid the entry and dissemination of the hepatitis E virus in pig farms is by following the proper biosecurity protocols. These include a good quantity and quality of water given to animals, a safe diet, optimal, healthy, and certified broodstock, a proper disinfection of cars and people that wish to enter the farm. Our purpose as a university in doing this kind of research is to get to know the characteristics of a pathogen that could be affecting the process of pig farming. The goal of this is to finally put forward control and prevention measures in order to avoid the dissemination of the hepatitis E virus from spreading among the various pig farms affecting the chain of production. This will lead porcine production to become more competitive, generating a positive impact on both internal and external markets. There exist different tools for hepatitis E detection in the lab. One of them has to do with serological testing. These tests help detect antibodies, which are produced in both humans and animals in order to stop the attack of a microorganism. When the blood sample arrives at the lab, whether it be humans or pigs, it undergoes centrifugation in order to separate solid elements such as cells, red or white blood cells, that way separating the serum. After taking the serum, which is rich in antibodies, we place it on top of plates which have previously been given viral proteins. After a series of washes, we then add a marked antibody, one that if it recognizes the virus, it will give us a signal. 
producieron el virus va a producirnos una señal. This signal is read by a special machine, and this will tell us if the animal is, or was ever, exposed to the virus. In the Animal Biotechnology Lab of the National University of Colombia in Medellin, a molecular detection of the hepatitis E virus in pig feces and liver samples is being carried out, as well as in water samples from different sources. Our first step is to take these samples and extract the genomic material. Once we've extracted it, we create a mixture in order to amplify the genome in a machine known as a thermocycler. The thermocycler provides us with temperatures and times that allow us to make copies of the genomic material we've extracted. Once we've extracted this genomic material, we need to verify whether or not it's been amplified. We do this with a technique called agarose gel electrophoresis. Once we've carried out this technique, we will be able to observe whether or not there is amplification of the virus in our sample. Those samples that have been amplified are then sent to another lab abroad so that they can be sequenced. And there, with this sequence, we can then make a phylogenetic analysis in order to determine the genotype that is circulating in our country. We now find ourselves at the University of Antioquia's Animal Pathology Lab, a lab awarded the ISO 9001 Quality Certification, which is dedicated to teaching, investigation, and is also an extension of the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences. The activities carried out for this project at the Pathology Lab are to receive fragments of liver tissue coming from an area located in meat processing plants called the cutting area. Here we carry out cuts, thick tissue slices, then place them into plastic cases, which we then take to a tissue processing area or zone. Here, the samples are placed into an automatic tissue processor where they will remain all night. This machine basically dehydrates the samples using alcohol, removing water and extracting fat in order to place the tissue in paraffin oil. This procedure solidifies the tissue in order to successfully cut it with a microtome, a machine that uses a very fine and sharp knife in order to generate extremely thin cuts. This material is then placed on glass sheets, stained using hematoxylin and eosin, then evaluated using a conventional microscope. Staining the sample allows for contrast to take place within the tissue, highlighting microscopic liver structures allowing for the detection of lesions. This helps to finally determine whether or not the liver has hepatitis. Another process that is used is called immunohistochemistry. This helps to locate the virus inside the liver tissue. A survey was given at the farms where tissue samples were taken from in order to evaluate their technical development. This was based on ICA certification form. The result showed that 60% of the farms surveyed showed high technical development of their farms, while 40% showed a low technical development. No correlation was found between the technical development of farms with the presence of the hepatitis E virus. This means that farms, whether or not highly developed technologically, could be positive for the virus. The purpose of testing the water is to determine the presence of the hepatitis E virus in pig farms and meat processing plants and to know whether or not the virus enters these places by means of inflows and outflows. The procedure began with the collection of samples from the places mentioned earlier, from water that is coming in as well as flowing out. It was then refrigerated and taken to the Pontificia Bolivariana University's proteomic laboratory. Here, the samples were placed through centrifugation until obtaining a product from which to do an extraction of the genetic material of the virus, and from there, its amplification and visualization using molecular detection. This at Columbia's National University's Animal Biotechnology Lab, just as it was done with pig's feces and liver samples. 
The project's first conclusion has determined that the hepatitis E virus is present in Colombia. This has been proven by research teams from the University of Antioquia, CES, and others from Bogota. The hepatitis E virus is also present in pig populations, both in technically developed and undeveloped farms. This has been demonstrated in pig farms from the United States, where 100% of the pigs evaluated have presented the virus, while in Spain, the number is 98%. For this reason, we shouldn't find it strange to see the virus present in Antioquia, since some breeding pigs imported into the department are coming from these countries. The virus genome has been detected in pigs' livers here, as well as in Germany, the United States, and England. The virus is excreted through the pig's feces, so what pig farmers must do is to try to inactivate the virus before the feces is used as fertilizer. Our hypothesis is that with processes such as biodigestion, oxidation ponds, or composting, it's possible to inactivate the virus, since you must remember that the virus becomes unstable when put to high temperatures or when it has been outside of the host for a long time. In order to avoid infection of the hepatitis E virus, both in pigs and humans, it's important to supply clean water and to have proper excreta management, and to guarantee that the systems of clean water effectively eliminate the virus. People also must be careful to do the following basic steps. Properly wash hands, especially before manipulating and preparing meals, avoid eating uncooked or undercooked meat, Wash and peel fruits and vegetables before eating. Pork is an excellent source of protein and has a high nutritional content. Yet it requires, as does any food of animal or vegetable origin, proper hygiene management of its products, no matter where in the chain of production. Consumers must also do their part to guarantee the harmlessness of the product. Lastly, strong sanitary programs for farms are recommended in order to avoid the entry of the hepatitis E virus, as well as for other infectious diseases and bacteria, which can severely affect the productivity of the system.